Okay, remember that circle? We're gonna go on to 3.4 finding rate. Remember the circle? Well, now let's, let's put our thumb over the top of the R because we don't know what the R is. Let's pretend we don't know what the R is. If we don't know what the R is, how do we solve for it? P divided by B. So R is equal to P divided by B. Can you do that? Solve for the rate. 26 is what percent of 104? 26, which is the part, is what percent of 104? 104 is the base. P divided by B, P divided by B equals R. So let's plug in the P and the B. 26 is the part, B is the base, 104. 26 divided by 104 is 0.25, that's 25%. An investment officer at Graham Bank placed $3 million in a government security. It remained there for one year and earned $48,000 in interest. So dollars and dollars, we must be missing a rate. What was the rate? The rate is equal to P over B, P divided by B. So 48,000 divided by 3 million will give us 0 0.016. Move the decimal over two times to the right, 1.6%. Okay, there may be a circumstance where you have to think a little bit more than just the basics. Let's take a look at this. Sheila Jones is running a marathon, 26.2 miles, but is exhausted after 22 miles. Find the percent of the race that she must still run. Oh, oh, must still run. Not what she's already ran, but what she still needs to run. Okay, so first we need to figure out, well, how much does she still need to run in terms of miles? So we're going to take 26.2. She's already ran 22 miles, so 26.2 minus the 22 gives us 4.2 miles. 4.2 miles. Now that we have the amount we're looking for to figure out, well, how much percent does she have remaining? Well, this becomes, 4.2 becomes the part. The base is the total the total race, 26.2. The base is 26.2. The part is 4.2. So uh, part, the part divided by the base will give us the percentage. And that's what it's asking for is the percent of the race that she still must run. So 4.2 divided by 26.2 is 0.16 or 16%. 